I'll uh, take that uh, certainly uh, to heart. But I do want to thank you for the uh, intentional method by which you've carried on these investigations and these hearings. Mr. Chairman, you didn't have to do it, but you've done it well. I'm a proud uh, Michigander, and I'm proud of my state. I'm proud of the things that are taking place. This is a problem, but I'm proud of Michigan. And uh, for you to take uh, serious attention to this, I uh, thank you. And Governor Snyder, um, we appreciate you voluntarily uh, coming today. We appreciate you voluntarily releasing all your emails uh, so they could be part of the record. Uh, we appreciate the fact that you're willing to answer uh, tough questions uh, that this co committee will offer today and outline the steps you're taking to solve uh, the crisis and help Flint recover because we want Flint to recover. It's a great city. It uh, has great workers. Uh, I've driven great cars made in Flint and uh, have now had the opportunity to look in the eyes of Flint citizens uh, who have experienced this tragedy, a human-made tragedy. Governor, let me ask you, when did you first learn of the instances uh, of a question here that was brought up uh, just the other day as well, and it's a concern, the instances of Legionnaire's disease in Flint? Yeah, in terms of Legionnaires, I didn't learn of that until 2016. And as soon as I became aware of it, we held a press conference the next day. Um, that was clearly a case where the Michigan Department of Health and Human Services should have done more to escalate the issue, to get it visible to the public and to me. I, I have documents here today that uh, show your staff was receiving information about Legionnaires in March of 2015. Uh, in an email on March 13th of 2015, a senior DEQ staff mem member, Brad Werfel, uh, emailed another member of your staff, uh, Harvey Hollins, stating that there was a, and I quote, significant uptick in cases of Legionnaire's disease in Flint. Uh, there's also an email uh, to your spokesperson, Sarah Werfel, uh, showing that she was aware of the issue, and in another email, Brad Werfel indicated that he wanted to raise the issue with your chief of staff, Dennis Muchmore. Uh, the information was in the highest levels of your executive office uh, 10 months before you knew. Did you speak with them about it? No, I don't recall any mention of that to me. And I don't recall seeing those emails or being part of any of those discussions. Uh, if, if, if that's the case, then what can you tell us about whether there is a connection between an outbreak of Legionnaires and the Flint River? Well, obviously, given the change in water source, it's a concern. And we're going through the investigation at this point, and all parties are cooperating. The federal government, state government, outside experts are all working this issue. Um, we actually brought in expertise from Wayne State University that I know you're familiar with, um, Congressman Wahlberg, an outstanding institution in terms of an additional researcher to look at the causation connection. Um, I'm happy to share some information with you that will give some perspective on the number of cases and what we have information on so far. I actually have a chart. I don't know if it's available to people, but I'd be happy to share that in terms of seeing some of the numbers themselves. I would ask, uh, ask the chairman if we could have that submitted for the record. Um, Without objection, so ordered, we'll get a copy and distribute it to members as soon as we can photocopy it. If staff could come down and get that piece of paper, that would be great. Okay. Um, what I would also say is I've also asked for an investigation by the Inspector General and the Auditor General of the State of Michigan, which is an independent organization, to go look at the Department of Health and Human Services with respect to this whole discussion of what was disclosed, the processing of this, because this should have been handled better. Yeah. Uh, Administrator McCarthy, uh, does the Safe Drinking Water Act provide you with the authority to act in a situation like Flint? Uh, it does when we have the, the appropriate information, sir, yes. Upon receipt, uh, it says, upon receipt of information, the EPA administrator may take any action she deems necessary to protect human health. In September, uh, 26, 2015, you wrote an email to an EPA official that appeared in the AP last night, in fact, a report. Uh, you said um, the situation in Flint could, and I quote, get very big quickly. You didn't act until January 21st, 2016. Why? Well, sir, the, the, the action that we were recommending or would have taken was action that was already happening 
It was only until January did I realize that the state wasn't continuing and the city wasn't moving forward quickly enough to address the issue. But that was very late in the game, sir. The gentleman's, gentleman's time is